Now to campaign 2016 tonight, and the Republican frontrunners are throwing their weight around, pushing for changes to the format of the next GOP presidential debate, while Democrats wait for a decision from the vice president. Joe, are you running? CBS 4's Weijia Zhang has the details from the White House. Rick and Ruta Bay, Republican frontrunner Donald Trump is pushing his influence right into the debate arena, calling the shots for the next matchup, likely because the huge audiences he's been able to draw so far. On the Democratic side, the question remains, will there be a new contender? The top two presidential candidates in the GOP race have won a victory over CNBC. The network has changed its debate rules after Donald Trump and Ben Carson sent a letter saying, neither Mr. Trump or Dr. Carson will participate in your debate if it is longer than 120 minutes, including commercials, and does not include opening and closing statements. But not everyone agrees. I'm all for three hours. I'm sorry that they apparently don't have the endurance to go the distance. The other candidates may need extra time because Trump and Carson more than doubled their numbers in the latest poll. Carson has also raised the most money of any GOP candidate, even Donald Trump, who is now accepting pledges despite his vow to fund his campaign himself. Hillary Clinton and Bernie Sanders both raised more money than Carson, but Vice President Joe Biden may be ready to challenge them. Have you made your decision yet? The vice president has reportedly been consulting with old advisors and friends in early voting states who have worked for him during past campaigns. You know, I'm big on debates, so. In New Hampshire Friday, Clinton was all smiles after this week's debate performance. A new poll of the Granite State shows her leading in New Hampshire for the first time since July. Biden himself has not publicly talked about a potential run for weeks, but his aides say he is really aware of the practical demands of making a final decision soon, with the filing deadlines for primary states fast approaching. Reporting at the White House, Weijia Jang, CBS 4 News. Thank you, Weijia. Meantime, Democratic frontrunner Hillary Clinton will be the next presidential candidate to make an appearance on The Late Show with Stephen Colbert. It was just announced today that she'll visit the Ed Sullivan Theater October the 27th, and you can catch The Late Show with Stephen Colbert weeknights at 11.35, right after the CBS 4 News tonight here on CBS 4.